This image was taken by Mark Peterson for Redux Pictures for Time, and it shows attendees at the dedication of the National Confederate Museum in Elm Springs, Tennessee, on July 20th, 2018. This insignia is worn by members of a particular wing of the Sons of Confederate Veterans. As folks may know, it's been around for more than 100 years. And there are various, I think, groups within it. There are folks who are very much devoted to history. And then there are many folks like the Mechanized Division who are very much part of the culture war. Underlying it all is this lost cause version, this lost cause understanding of American history. And that lost cause still tells us that the Confederacy was a noble cause. Slavery wasn't that bad. In fact, if you go to Beauvoir, the Jefferson Davis Presidential Library and Home in Biloxi, Mississippi, you will learn from these people that it had a Christianizing influence on Black people and that it was a pretty much a jobs program. So that's what this represents to me. But the mechanized division are the folks who mechanized, haha, they ride around on motorcycles, but they often do security at various events. You will see sub insignias, heritage, not hate, the slogan that Sons of Confederate Veterans deploy to assert that monuments and symbols and their veneration of the Confederacy is about heritage. The writer, Kevin Baker, he's kind of spun that and he says, you know, the heritage is hate. If you believe that the enslavement of other people, including my great grandparents, was part of a noble cause, then you're you're essentially saying that centuries of brutality and degradation and what grew from it, Jim Crow and all that followed, and that's cool. I actually spoke to one of these gentlemen at a different Jefferson Davis shrine in Fairview, Kentucky. And the gentleman, a lawyer from Tennessee, we got into a little discussion and he was telling me that, well, slaves were only slaves six days a week. On the seventh day, they were free. And I said, wait, are you saying that some enslavers allowed their enslaved people to do something different than, no, no, no. He said, no, 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 they were free. This guy's a lawyer. And I said, so what you're saying is that my great grandparents whose bodies were used seven days a week, other enslaved people, their bodies could be used any day of the week, Sunday, Tuesday, used for any purpose. And I said, and how would you feel about that if this were one of your family members? And that ended the conversation. You have to not have empathy. You have to see this symbol as something other than fully human in order to believe this stuff. And then if you see what would Forrest do, y'all know who Nathan Bedford Forrest was, is the Confederate general who was part of the irregular forces deployed by the CSA. He's also either one of the founding members or early members of the KKK. When I see this insignia, I know that there is this assertive, aggressive, I keep using the word deployment, but there is like these people claim public spaces like Confederate Memorial Day. They claim the Confederate section of a public cemetery, Oakwood Cemetery. I was there with Mark and um, They asked us to leave and I would not go because it's a public cemetery. But there was this militant sense of entitlement. And when these guys take these vests off, we don't know who they are, which is another thing that scares me about this stuff.